was found at a state sale on Monday, paid 50 cents, sold for $975. The best part, found three of them identical. Oh my goodness. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are gonna talk about unexpected big money bolos. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. So what am I talking about? Well, in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, every month I post a post to share a sold. So this is a bolo item, something that you sold that was either unexpected, sold really fast, or big money. And you come over and you share it, you shout it out, you tell us where you got it, what you paid for it, what it sold for. If you sell on platforms and you want to shout that out, put it in the comment. And I will also mention that in the video. So we're going to get started here with the first one, which is a knock your socks off. Okay. It says, found this small book in a box. I got it in auction for a couple dollars. Our water heater flooded the house, so I literally tossed everything into the kitchen to save it from the water and forgot about the box of books. Going through things after repairs were made and actually tossed the, this one to my hubby to look up to decide yard sale or eBay. All I heard was, we're going to say, oh my goodness. So figured it must be a keeper. AA book with original meeting brooches. Inside, listed auction for 500 and received an offer of 375 which she passed on. She said it didn't sell, so relisted for 475 on auction again, received an offer for 400 uh, was less than one day left, so grabbed it, took the offer, uh, less than 50 cents into this, and turned it into $400. So... Yeah, some of the vintage Alcoholics Anonymous books can be big money. This is a first edition, 12th printing from 1948. And big book, AA, brochures, all those keywords in the title. The next item comes from Edge City Traders, and she sells um, on eBay, Etsy, Poshmark, and selling wholesale jewelry lots on Edge City Tra Traders in Lily Works Jewels and Lots on District. Okay, so we are going to see what this says. Studio Art Pottery. I don't know how to say that word. Vase, sign, textured, gourd, un underglaze pottery. Paid $2 at local D.C. area Goodwill. Sold in two weeks for an offer of $39. Scarafito or carved ceramic vases sell well for me. Okay, so that must stand for carved ceramic vases. S-G-R-A-F-F-I-T-O. So give Edge City Traders a follow. This one is, uh, she said she paid a total of about five for three, for these three cross-stitch kits. Bought the cat and sheep ornament kits at a small church thrift shop in Virginia. Bought the Mill Hill kit at Reuse It in Pennsylvania. Hill Mill kits are quite popular and sell higher than other brands. Okay, I have never heard of this brand. So I'm trying to see from the photo. I didn't have a link on this one. So I just have this main photo. I can't actually see the brand. So there is what they look like. And they sold for $44. And right there. And the buyer paid shipping. The next one I have a link for. So it is a firefighter long turnout coat and gloves toggle button hooks insulated. So we can go through some of these pictures. Um, now, uniforms I know are tricky. Some are allowed and some are not. I'm not sure about the really vintage firefighter things. Uh, I would look up policy on that. She said she paid $2 at an estate sale, didn't know if it was something she could even sell, but knew it was something I don't see very often. So grabbed it anyway after some research listed for 100 really wanted 80 but was happy to negotiate to 78 It was heavy, dirty, and ripped, sold in a couple weeks. Annie's Big Barn Sale. So um, I know like USPS and UPS and um, what do you call it? Uh, I think uh, police and stuff like that. Even I think uh, error, like uh, what do you call the people? Flight attendant stuff. I think you have to be careful with those things. Uniforms. So 
definitely uh, do your research before you list things like that. I don't know if it matters if it's vintage or not. I've never done a lot of research on it. I just kind of stay away from it personally. So definitely sold it for a nice profit. This is a Randall knife three dash three through seven. It says found this Randall knife in Northern Carolina. Oh, sorry, Northern California. It's seven inch blade stag handle. It's vintage. I found it in the filthiest barn estate sale it I've ever stepped foot in. It was tossed amongst the trash, paid five, sold for $650. If I would have had the original stone and sheath would have gone over 1200 easy. Whoa. Yeah, that's another thing I stay away from because I don't know all the rules on knives and stuff. But um, I know a lot of people sell them. I think there are certain ones you can sell and certain ones you can't. So again, just do your research. But that is big money. Big money. Five bucks. That's crazy. This is a vintage Coogee, Coogee, however you say it, Australia. Um, it's a sweater, guys. It's a sweater. There's your brand. If you see that brand and you see a wild looking sweater, these are definitely bolos. She said, store, eBay store, nooks, crannies, and irresistibles. Almost did a backflip at, at the high-end thrift store. I found this vintage Coogee sweater at, it was marked $75. I carefully examined it, found some slight raveling in one of the sleeves. I pointed it out to the owner, so she lowered the price to $25. Listed on eBay for $199, disclosing the damage along with close-up pictures. Took an offer for $150, all in for $175.04. I learned about Coogies from your channel. Wish I could find a bunch more. Thanks, Courtney, for teaching us about fun bolos. Yeah, definitely, definitely a bolo. And there it is. She did all kinds of measurements. Look at that. Wowza. All right, guys, let's look at the next one. All right, Bolo Buddies. Now, Nina's Jewels is going to share a Bolo with us called This Is My Bolo. And if you guys want to share a Bolo in a 60-second video like this, just send it to me on Facebook or Instagram Messenger, and I will feature it in one of my videos. All right, let's get started. Hi, I'm Wendy with Nina's Jewels, and this is my Bolo. We recently found these Muppet Vision 3D Jim Henson Disney plush dolls of Statler and Waldorf. These are the theater hecklers. They sold for $149.99 immediately. We had paid just $2 for those at a garage sale. When I was researching these, I found that most of the dolls from this collection, and there are lots, sell pretty quickly, though most of them are bread and butter. So do be on the lookout and there are other super high value dolls that you want to be on the lookout for. And the two that I noted that sold for in the $300 range were Sam Eagle and Bean Bunny. So be on the lookout if you see them because they all seem to sell really fast. You can find Nina's Jewels on YouTube at Nina's Jewels. We're also on Instagram and Facebook at Nina's Jewels LLC. You can also find us on Whatnot at Nina's Jewels. Thanks so much and we will catch you on the flip side. This one, name is AAA Antiques and Collectibles, found at a state sale on Monday, paid 50 cents, sold for $975. The best part, found three of them identical. Oh my goodness. Um, that is absolutely incredible. The Shalom Cherry Picker, he is very, very active in the Facebook group. If you guys want to learn about uh, sourcing in bulk, this man, oh my goodness, he is a treasure finder. Treasure finder. He talked about doing a YouTube channel. I don't know if he's done anything with that yet, but you definitely want to check that out if he does. This uh, book right here says it's leather and autographed. That is absolutely insane. The next one are these Judy Blue, never heard of that, denim jeans. So... I don't know if it's these stars that made it go for more or if it's the brand, but she said paid $4.50, sold on promotion for $54, shipped within one month of listing to a repeat buyer. And this one comes from Piece of Scrap. She is on YouTube and eBay and Poshmark. This one here, Facts and Fiction. Kelvin figurine bunny girl with felt ears, vintage rabbit Easter and she is kneeling. She's three inches. Isn't she adorable? Oh my goodness. So cute, right? I'm trying to figure out 
like I don't see a brand. It says Kelvin. Let me see here. Is Kelvin the brand? How does she know that? I wonder. Hmm. Yeah, the brand is Kelvin. Maybe she just did Google Lens. Anybody know? Because I don't see any markings. She said, I found this item in a lot of Easter figurines that I won from an online auction two weeks ago. So I have about $5 into it. I knew she was kitschy, but did not know anything else about her. She's apparently part of a trio, but I could not find any recent solds. I listed her for $250 and she sold the same day for full asking price plus shipping. eBay store facts and fiction. That is fabulous. The next item is this Tamis Keith handkerchief. Vintage New York City, Uptown Central Park, Bronx Zoo, New York. This is also facts and fiction. She said, Tammy's Keefe was a well-known textile artist known for her mid-century modern designs. I picked this up in New York City landmark handkerchief in an online lot and have about $3 into it. Since I could not find any comps for the, this particular handkerchief, I did what you tell us to do and put it on a seven-day auction, starting at a price I would be happy with. I only had one bidder, but I can't complain because it sold for 150 plus shipping. Yes. If you cannot find any others like it, list it high on auction and see what happens. It worked for her. $150. The next item is this vintage Scotty Dog Scottish Terrier oven mitt. It is an oven mitt, guys. I got this Scottish Terrier item at an estate sale, amongst other things. Paid $45 for a box of items and have already made back my money. This is my first Mercari Bolo, sold for $24.93 plus free shipping. So um, I don't know if he's new over there on Mercari, but Mercari is a great place to sell. Uh, a lot of plush, toys, jewelry, you can sell pretty much anything on Mercari and they have no selling fees anymore. So if you guys want to check out Mercari, I do have a um, link down below where you can get $10 to shop when you join and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. And that is my referral link. So definitely check it out. Now, also, I just released a video talking about um, List Perfectly and how I'm using it to create and generate my listings way faster. Oh my goodness. You guys have got to check out that video. It is like a total game changer. Super excited about that. So check out that video. And then I'm also doing something else where I'm refreshing my entire eBay store. And that is a separate video. And I'm going to tell you how I do that also. It's going really well. I'm about what a week and a half in and I'm getting lots of new items up where before I was kind of slacking on listing and it's really motivating me and I'm getting my old stuff uh, relisted and it, it's just great. So check out those two videos if you're looking to list faster and get your store refreshed. All right. And I will try to remember to link those down in the description. This is my Bolo. This guy's name I think is Horace. He is a uh, Disney character. He is vintage. And I picked this up for 25 cents at a garage sale. And I sold it for $24.80. And the buyer paid shipping and tax. This is also going internationally to a first time buyer on eBay. How cool is that? Thanks for watching. This is a vintage 1986 Jules Secrets Barbie doll. It's number 1737. I always recommend putting the box number into your title. She said, this Jewel Secrets Barbie came from a lot of boxed vintage dolls I bought in an estate auction. Paid $130 for the lot because it included an earring magic kin, which I've been trying to find forever as a gift for a friend. I'm not making any profit here since I gave Ken away, but both this Barbie and earring magic kin are good bolos if you can get them at a good price. Barbie also sold quickly in less than a week. In my case, the dolls I sold made up the value of the Ken doll, so I'm incredibly happy about how it all worked out. Oh, and then she had another one that I did not get because it was in the same sentence. wonder if there is a way for me to pop this up. Okay, it's a vintage Britney Spears doll, and it sold for uh, 30 So look up Britney Spears if you see her. All right, the next one comes from Piece of Scrap also and YouTube, uh, eBay, and Poshmark. She said, paid 12, sold for 126 uh, shipped. So that was with shipping. So I think 10404. 
eBay 10% off promotion. Brooks Ghost 15 Thanksgiving Turkey Trot Running Shoes. <laughs> they have a turkey on them. Wow. That's interesting. Uh, the next one. It is a baby blanket. It says, found this at the bins right before leaving for the day. Vintage Carter's Crib Quilt. Paid probably less than $2 and sold within 48 hours for $120 on Etsy. Nope, I'm sorry. Sorry, sold for $108. I forgot it was running a sale. I can't keep, can't seem to get my Etsy to link up. Okay, there it is. So I just did a screenshot for you guys. It was $108 because she was running a sale. She originally listed it for $120. So somebody said that's interesting that, um, let's see, um, hold on a second. Let me read this. This might, interesting. I've found vintage crib quilts before, but didn't care about them. Are there any specific brands I should look for? She said Carter, Gymboree blankets are the ones she knows about and target John Lennon from the early 2000s. So there's some other tips for you guys. And the last two here are hats. Uh, most of you probably already know Tommy Bahama is a bolo, but I'd never heard of this brand, Helen Kaminsky out of Australia. I got both of these along with three to four others in a $5 fill a bag at local Honey Hole and estate sale leftover store. So I paid less than a dollar, listed the Tommy Bahama for 29, accepted offer for 26. After six days, listed the Helen Kamis Kaminsky for 69 accepted offer of 55 after being listed for 18 days. eBay store is Debs, Dolls, and Deals. All right, you guys, there you have it. There are some big money bolos for you. Again, go check out those videos down below. I'm going to I'm gonna remember to post them. If I don't, somebody remind me in the comments, post the videos. Um, you can also search them. But uh, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it very much. I hope you guys will come over to Whatnot and visit me. There is a link down below. It's a referral link where you can get $15 to shop if you join with that. So you can come hang out and it's kind of like a live show. So even if you don't buy anything, you can talk in the chat and hang out and just participate and be around other people. So it's very uh, social. It's very social. We have lots of laughs and we have lots of coffee. So uh, come join. I do a lot of untanglings. So I hope to see you there. Uh, also, my hat seems so vintage made this. And I'm going to tell you about it every time I wear it because I love these hats. Is this not the cutest design? She made this and put the little owl buttons on it. Seems so vintage. You can buy these hats on whatnot. So if you use my referral link to join, you can buy a hat and you can apply your $15 towards it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, super cute. And if you want one custom made, she can do different colors, different um, buttons or whatever she puts on here. Sometimes she uses clip on earrings. Really cool. But anyway, seems so vintage. Check her out. She's awesome. She's uh, one of my moderators and has become a great friend and I am obsessed in her hats. So I know you guys, when I used to wear the old ones, asked me, where'd you get your hats? And I'm wearing these now. So I thought I'd tell you where I'm getting my hats. All right. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.